We're going to be talking about pre-roll recording. This is so important for anybody who's doing narration or trying to do recording on the fly. So I thought I would put together just a quick video to comp for it. Now, if you're using Pro Tools, uh, it's you know it's pre-roll recording or pre-recording and things like that. Uh, in Logic Pro, it's a really different process. So if you're used to Pro Tools, this video is for you. Okay. So first, we're just going to take a look here. We're going to look at our um, record button. We're going to make sure that allow quick punch in is, is checked. And we're going to make sure auto input monitoring is also checked. We're also going to make sure down here that we have record checked and then your input monitoring also checked so that you can hear that pre-roll, that playback. Now, why is it that I can't just set it up so that it gives me three seconds playback and, and then I can hear that as I'm uh, singing the track or working on the track? That's really for more of the like punch in to a specific section. You've already recorded it once and you're coming back and you're doing like a punch in. This is, this is what I'm talking about is more along the lines of, you know, you're doing narration and you make a screw up and you still have, you know, the rest of the chapter to do. So you're not just going to record the entire chapter. You're going to, you're going to come in, but I'm going to do it in a music way because lots of people like music. So here you go. All right. So I've already recorded part of the track right here of what I'm doing. So this is music and I'm singing. Okay, so I am not going to hit the record button. This is so important. Do not hit that button. What you're going to do is hit the play button, and when you're ready to record, you're going to hit R. Remember that the track is already recording, and you can monitor the playback. So as you're going, this is how it's going to go. You're going to push play, and when you're ready, you're going to push R on the keyboard. Here we go. I just anticipate your love, oh baby, your love. Okay, spacebar, stop. You want to see how much you did? You double click on here, it shows you both takes. Okay, so as we come back, we can take a look and we can, we can change where this is ending or starting or stopping, okay? And it does the blend work already for you. You don't have to tell it to do that. Want to put it back together? Double click, goes back together. No big deal. You can do many uh, takes of one track. You don't have to do just one. And if you push control Z, it'll get rid of the last track, which I do a lot. More than a million, I can't wait. I just anticipate your love. Okay, not my best breath, breath work, but there you go. You can kind of listen to how that comes together and works. Now, if I wanted to continue recording, I could. So let me just show you that right now. Remember, don't push record. Here you go. We're pushing play. I hope you really enjoyed this track I just recorded, and hopefully you'll come back and see some of my other videos that I've made. Thank you so much. Okay. And that was that, space bar to stop, come back to here. Oops, now I just set it for loop, don't want to do that. I hope you really enjoyed this track I just recorded, and hopefully you'll come back and see some of my other videos that I've made. Thank you so much.